Sorry, I didn't mean to jump it. <laughs> I'm just excited. <laughs> you ever been to a ball game? Everybody's loud. You come to church and everybody's quiet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. And yes. welcome uh, to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we just want to welcome you. All those that are our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video, we just want to welcome you. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. And he's got something for you. You just got to be able to spend time with him and get what he's got for you. Amen. I want it. Give it to me. We're going to be talking today again about being used of God. Amen. If you're not being used of God, it's not his fault. That's it. The problem is here. We got to fix this. Amen. We got we have to fix this so that we can be available to him. Yes. Amen. When you fall in love with your God, says, Lord, here am I. Use me. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're always pointing to somebody else. Or we're always fearful. Mm -hmm. You know, like we're not good enough. Mm -hmm. He's not looking for perfect. He's looking for ability. He's looking for availability. He's not looking for ability. He's looking for availability. So you got to make yourself uh, available. Woo! Before I get any further, let's uh, make this declaration together. <laughs> Grab your swords. Yes. Soldier of God. Yes. <laughs> this is your sword. This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is recessive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. You know, your mind is alert. 24-7. Some of you are already thinking, I could be doing this. I could be somewhere else. But it's the mind. It's the battlefield. And that's where you're thinking. And that's where the enemy wants to be. Put thoughts there to say, you know, this is not for you. This is not good enough. You know, I'd rather be somewhere else. So we, we have to renew our mind. We have to control our mind. Because if we don't, the world will, and yeah. the enemy will, and he'll put those yeah. thoughts. He can't make you do anything, but if you put enough thoughts in there for you, you'll start falling into it, especially if you're not renewing it with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. So we want to be here. God got something for me. I came here, and I want to get something from God. Amen. Yeah. And he's got something for you. He always has something for us. He wants us to do good, and our message is being used of God. Mm -hmm. He's not finished with you. Matter of fact, we, some of us are just getting started. Some of us are still trying to hide from him. You know, instead of uh, going to him, we're trying to hide. Just like the prodigal son, you know, go hide with the pigs. You know, yeah. go hide in, in the crowds. Go hide in the world. Mm. Don't hide from him. No. He knows what's best for you. Yes. He put everything in you that you need to do what he wants yes, you to do. He and he put you here to be a winner, not to be a loser. Mm -hmm. See, the world... Is already disqualified you. You're not good enough. You got to take tests for everything. And if you don't pass, guess what? You're not good enough for them. But you're good enough for God. Mm -hmm. And He don't give up on you. Okay. Amen. He said, Jesus, Jesus went to the cross. He had many opportunities to quit, but He didn't. And He knew what was facing Him, He knew He was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. He, he finally told Judas, you know, just before he was taken, he says, you go do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. He already knew there was a devil among them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he says, go do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Get it over with. Mm -hmm. Did he hate him? No. Mm -hmm. Did he sin? No. So we can do all things through him who strengthens us. We need his strength to continue on a daily basis. Amen. So whoo, I'm excited. I don't know about you. Listen, God's not finished with you. He had great plans for you. None yes. of them include defeat. All we need to do is make ourselves available. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. We've been talking about the power of your words. Mm -hmm. You can have death or you can have life. Mm -hmm. You can be positive or negative. But the choice is yours. He gave you a free will. What is your will? To do the things of God? Then we need to know what his word says. And start confessing what his word says. If we're not confessing his word, mm -hmm. we're confessing the negative things. Mm -hmm. And we're giving in. Yeah. And we're not going to win. Amen. We're going to lose. And not because of him. Jesus went to the cross so that we 
could be could win, and he made his winners. Yeah. Now it's up to you to continue this. Amen. Yeah. And he's got. Uh, he wants to use you. Mm -hmm. The call is there, but it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You you decide. Amen. So hallelujah. Let me see. I wrote it how many times it says, "Being used of God." Number two, God wants to use us now. He's not waiting. He wants to use you now. You know uh, the story about the robbers that were hung with or uh, crucified with him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of them accepted him. Now Jesus didn't turn around and says, uh, no, you got to go through the 12 week uh, of New Beginnings class, you know, for you to be saved. Or you got to go and get baptized to be saved. Or you got to go and join this church, you know, uh, be a member of this church for so long, you know, and then you could be saved. No. He says, no, today, right now, you know, you could be, you could be uh, witnessing to somebody right now mm -hmm. and, and lead them to Christ mm -hmm. and they're, they could be gone in a heartbeat, but they had a chance to receive Jesus. Some of yeah. you are still running and it's time to stop. Yeah. It's time to stop. God wants to use you. You know, mm -hmm. if you one day you're gonna stand before him and say, Well, you never used me, he said, Well, I wanted to use you, but you never accepted me. If you ain't going up, you're gonna go down. Are you available? And if you're available, serve him with passion. You know? <laughs> Some of us watch them games with passion. Some of us go to all the games. And you know it costs a lot of money to go to some of these games. Oh, yeah. I know I've been there. I used to go. <laughs> costs a lot of money. And you know you go in there and you act crazy. <laughs> you don't go in there to be quiet. You know you go in there and you shout and you scream. And, and you pour drinks all over the people in front of you or behind oh, you. And food on them. You know you spit on them. You know. You do all kinds of stuff and you get alcohol kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. And you come to church or you go to serve God and you're so quiet. It's like, wow, are you really a Christian? I don't know if I want to be a Christian. <laughs> 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 I want to be excited in, in, in serving Him, you know? Amen. People see Jesus through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, yes. God has uh, called you, He's qualified you. Don't let the world. Don't let words, don't let people or distractions or sin stop you from fulfilling your destiny, from fulfilling what God has called you to do. We let some of these things stop us. Don't let those, those don't let these things stop us. Amen. But you gotta stay strong and you gotta stay filled with Him. So that you know, renewing your mind with the Word of God, filling yourself with the Word, studying the Word, meditating on the Word, so that you know the truth, and the truth is going to set you free yeah. from all the mindsets, from all yeah. the things of the world that are coming against you. Mm -hmm. If you want to know the truth, you go to the one that knows the truth. Yes. You go to the one that is the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. He's not looking for perfection. You go to all these Bible heroes we talk about. This is just a review before we get into number two here. But some of these Bible heroes you, you talk about and say, well, I mean, I could have done better than that. You know, wow. yeah, right. Yeah. But they were not perfect. But still, God used them. Yes. So if you're around a group, or if you're around people that are disqualifying you and saying how bad you are, it's time to get a new group <laughs> get you to a group that is going to build you up it's going to take you to where god is yes. you know it's going to take you to the word of god it says this is who you are in him the bible says you can do all things he's not going to take it he says he'll never leave you nor forsake you like people do like your friends do yeah <laughs> he's always there for you amen so He's not looking for people that's got it all together. He's looking for people that are available. Mm -hmm. He's looking for people that are available, that are faithful, and are committed. And we talked about this last week. It says availability is, are you reachable? Are you obtainable? Are you accessible? If he comes and talks to you or he comes and asks you to do something, are you, going, are you available mm -hmm. for him to use you? Faithful is just being loyal, being committed, being dependable. Mm -hmm. 
reliable. Amen. Some of us are real good at this, at our jobs and for the world, but not for Jesus, not for the church. You know, not for we got to be available, we got to be faithful, and we got committed. We're talking about being uh, dedicated, being loyal, yes. being faithful in the things of God. I think I mentioned something. I was going to get you a slide about this. It says, uh, if you was employed by the church, would you still be employed? <laughs> Are you being faithful? Are you being uh Devoted, dedicated, reliable. <laughs> Some of us are real good about this for our jobs, but what about for the things of God? Mm -hmm. You know, because He's the head, and we're the body. So guess what? Jesus needs something done. He's going to contact one of us. Yes, yes. Amen. And He's knocking, and and you're saying, "Go to the next one." <laughs> he said, "Go to the next." Not me. Not not now. Not now. Not now. Someone else, someone else, always somebody else. No, I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. I'm, hum I'm, I'm, I'm fearful. No, if he's calling on you, you know why? Because he knows you better than you know yourself. And you're qualified enough for him to call on you. Let's, let's, this is simple. We just got to remember these things. Yeah. Committed, passionate. What's a passion? A passion is being hungry. I'm hungry <laughs> for the things of God. Yes. I'm hungry for some food. We all know how to be hungry for food. Mm -hmm. But what about for the things of God? You know, you know when you're running low, you know, you know when your car's running low? Oh yeah. And some of us have run out of gas before. Oh boy. <laughs> and it's not good because that's a great tool he's given us. But I can't use it if it's out of gas. Yes, it is. We gotta keep ourselves spiritually filled with the spiritual gas <laughs> so we can keep going because the enemy is not going to give up the enemy is going to keep coming and remember he said a full-time part-time christian is no match for a full-time devil he's always knocking and he's always testing and he's always going to be there we just got to be stronger and let him know where to go you know it's okay for you to tell the devil go to hell <laughs> That's what he belongs. <laughs> go to hell or go go home. <laughs> Passion is being hunger, being thirsty, being enthused, being emotional, being zealous. You know, hey, I've been to all these games. I've been to baseball. I've been to basketballs. I've been to all kinds of games. And you know, you didn't go there to just to sit no. and be sad looking. You're going to get excited and you're going to yes. say, hey, I paid good money to be here. So I'm going to shout and I'm going to do whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. They acting crazy. I'm going to act crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, we can do the same for him. Yes. Be crazy for him. Be, be excited for him. Be excited for Amen. Him. We make ourselves available to everyone but God. We try to impress. Okay. And we try to impress everybody but God. Remember this, you can write this and put it somewhere. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to get away from that. You know, we're trying to impress people instead of God. God already knows us better than anybody else and loves you the most. Mm -hmm. Put God first and reap the blessings. Magnify Him and not the problem. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm going to read one scripture to you and then we, we're going to get deep in the word. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Uh, Mark. I already got it wrote down. I'm going to read it to you from the uh, from the uh, NIV. But if you go to a familiar scripture is Matthew 6, 33 and 34. So you go there. I'm going to read it to you from here. The NIV says this, but seek first his kingdom his kingdom his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well mm -hmm. 34 says this don't worry uh, excuse me therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself yeah each day has enough trouble of its own oh yeah and when we try to bring in tomorrow and we try to bring in the next day and the next day and pile it all up and the next thing you know is you're a mess mm -hmm. amen why because you're trying to set up everything on your own Instead of going to him, what did he say? He says, cast it on me. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Why? Because 
I got a plan for you. Yeah. I got a mission for you today. He says, I have a new day for you. He says, this is the day I have given you. Yes. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. But you're not going to rejoice and be glad in it because you got all these things uh -huh. against you. He says, how come you're not giving it to me? Cast it on me. Give it to me. I got better things for you to do. Mm -hmm. I got better things for you to go and do. And, and, and this is what the word says. I want to he wants to use you. Being used of God. He can't use you if you're a mess. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh, gosh. <laughs> Praise God. Now, I already read uh, the scripture I just gave you. Uh, Psalms 118, 24. New King James says, This is a new day the Lord has made. Some translation says we, we. Mm -hmm. But you can say I. Or put your name on there. Cross yes. that out and just put your name on there. Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of circumstances. Yeah. Amen. Regardless of what giants, how many Goliaths are out there waiting on you. I say, wait a minute. Yeah. Come on, rejoice and be glad in it. Even if it's another hundred degree day out there. I'm gonna rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God, because he's given me this day. Yeah. So passionate about a new day to serve. Be passionate, excited about God using you, mm -hmm. making yourself available all times. We say, wait a minute, you use me all the time. Why don't you go somewhere else? <laughs> go borrow, go bar, go go bother somebody else. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. You're faithful. Mm -hmm. Lord, here am I, use me. Yes. He wants to use you. I'm excited to be used of him. Get passionate about the new day He's given yeah. us Get passionate about the new things yes. God wants to do in our lives yes. Get passionate about Him using me Amen. It'll make people mad yeah. But it should make you glad mm -hmm. Thank you Lord for using me mm -hmm. How come God's always using you? Mm -hmm. People are going to get just mm -hmm. Because All you have to do is say Because I love Him And because I'm available Yeah yeah. Are they available? I mean, they have a stop sign and they're not answering the door. Mm. He's wanting to come in. Yes. Make yourself available. Yes. Okay. What is it you're trying to hide? He already knows all about you. That's it. <laughs> oh, praise God. <laughs> Beware of, we talked about this, passion, dream, and destiny killers. Mm. They gave up on their dream. Now they want you to give up on, oh, on yeah. your dream. Oh, yeah. oh, gosh. And you don't have to do yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to stay connected. I'm going to stay connected to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. World, world people and things want to steal, kill, and destroy from you. Mm -hmm. They want to steal your joy. They want to steal your love. They want to steal your peace. They want to steal your destiny. They want to steal from God using you. Yeah, yeah. Because say, why you don't hang out with us no more? We miss you. Come hang out with us. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a new master. Mm -hmm. I serve a new master. Mm -hmm. Amen. John 10:10. 10, 10, we we uh, we already gone through that, but the enemy says the enemy, the thief, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Jesus says, I come that you might have life uh -huh. and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Amen. So quit confessing the negative and start living your life abundantly the way he wants you to. Mm -hmm. Quit confessing the negative stuff. When you confess the negative, it just sends out bad seed. Yeah. And you plant it all over your life. Oh, and all the things are going to grow back oh, to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not having that no more. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind. Replace the bad thoughts with good thoughts. Yeah. Replace your bad thoughts with the word of God. Be positive. Yes. Control. <laughs> Mm. This is something we got to do. We got to put a guard and we got to control our words. We got to control our, if we can control our mouth, we can control our words. Oh, gosh. Okay? Because I'm not letting down anything that's going to be negative to me mm. or anybody else. Instead of saying something negative to somebody, why don't you say something positive for them, you know? Yeah. God loves you. You're a blessing. <laughs> Thank you. Be kind to somebody. Amen. Instead of putting them down and saying those things that we've said before. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Stop the stinking thinking. 
I like that. Stinking thinking. So be positive and not negative. Let go of the guilt, the grief, the, uh, the, the grudges, the bad memories, or anything that tries to hold you back. All these things, if it's not of God, it's going to hold you back. Yeah. It's going to keep you back. Yeah. This is for believers. Believers are to press on, yeah. not stay, but That's to press it. on. And we're not going to press on if we got all this weight on us. <laughs> we got all this weight, all these cares, all these things weighing down on us. How are we going to press on with the things of God? Let them go. Give it to them and press on. Now, nah, man, I'm, I feel like as can be. Beware of the companies you keep. Hmm? Some of us, we need to check that. I told you so many times. I told Lord, <laughs> help me with all these enemies I have, all these and I started losing friends. I said enemies. Friends were gone. I got new friends. Amen. He's going to bring them around you for, for a season. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, watch your words. Watch your actions. You need to write that somewhere. And put it somewhere. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Remember, give no place to the devil or his company. If he's not a born again believer, if she's not a born again believer, guess what? It's a distraction. Yeah. And it's going to stop you. What What do I need to do? I need to share Jesus with you. Yeah. Amen. They share the world with you. Why can't you share Jesus with them? Uh -huh. And take them out of that mess. Right. Again, stay stirred up. Stay fired up for him daily. Mm -hmm. With passion for God. Uh -huh. And making yourself available on a daily basis to him. He's not using you because you're not available. Oh, that's simple. Doors closed, shut. Yeah. No coming in. Mm -hmm. You have a free will. It's up to you to open the door. Yeah. We open the door more for the enemy than we do for God because oh. of the things we say and mm -hmm. where we hang out. Mm -hmm. And opens the door and the enemy comes in. Enemy comes in, he wants to stay there. Mm -hmm. And he wants to drive you. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. Stay passionate for him. Mm -hmm. Stop the pity party. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop the poor me attitudes. You're a winner. You're a champion. Overcoming. Stop saying this. Life is unfair. I'm unlucky. Or I'm a mm -hmm. lucky person. It's not about luck. Yes, it is. It's about serving God mm -hmm. and him blessing you. Mm -hmm. And he blesses you to be a blessing. Yes. Amen. And guess what? You're too blessed to be stressed. Yes, so yes. just let it go and give it back to him. Why are you holding on to it? Mm. <laughs> Luck and lucky shouldn't even be in a believer's <laughs> vocabulary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Change the way we think and the way uh -huh. we speak. I've yes. given you the word is God. All kinds of positive things that you can confess. Confess the word instead of saying something negative. Mm -hmm. Amen. Speak faith-filled words and renew your mind. The mind is the battlefield and it goes up to here, mm -hmm. but don't let it go out of here. That's it. That's Amen. It. Just because you have a gun and it's loaded don't mean you got to shoot it. That's it. You got to think mm -hmm. before you shoot anything. Mm -hmm. Well, think before you fire those yes. words. Yes. And say, mm, it's loaded. Uh -huh. Man, I can let you have it. <laughs> but you think about it and you hold it. How many times do you think Jesus done this? He probably did it many times. He held himself and said nothing. And it made him mad. Because they wanted him to say something. And they wanted him to sin. But he never did. And we can hold ourselves. And we can be more Christ-like if we want to. Amen. Woo, man, I'm preaching better than you. Amen to me. You sure are quiet. <laughs> Jesus, our greatest example of living a passionate life. This is what he says. He says, I want you to put more muscle. I want you to put more passion, more energy in serving him. Mm -hmm. Some excitement, some yes. emotions in our relationship Amen. with him. Yes. Amen. If you're going to have a relationship, have a relationship with him. Yes. That's Christianity. That's what Christianity is all about. Religion is just a little bit of God <gasps> and oh, a whole God. lot of man-made rules that you'll never accomplish. That's it. You won't. But having a relationship, man, that's Christianity. Mm -hmm. That's having a relationship with Him. Relationship is back and forth. 
not just one way. We just go and shoot all our uh, prayers to him, and then we run off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not finished yet. Yeah. He's not even answered you yet. He wants to spend time with you. You don't want no part-time kids, no. No <laughs> Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Don't be a whip about your relationship with him. Don't be half-hearted, mm -hmm. unenthused, weak, mm -hmm. uncommitted, lukewarm. He hates no. that word. Remember what he said? Yes. You could be hot or cold. I can accept that. He says, mm -hmm. but don't you come lukewarm, mm -hmm. serving me and trying to serve the world mm -hmm. at the same time. Um, he says, I'll spit you out of my mouth. He says, I'll vomit you. Yes. That's, that's, <laughs> give it all. Mm -hmm. Give it all you've got. Give me your best. Yes. God gave his best. Jesus gave his best. What about us? Mm -hmm. We need to give our best. When he went to the cross, he paid for us. Yes. We, he owes us. Yes. So why not give him your, your best? If you're going to follow me, Go with passion. Yes. God mm. says, you've got to give it to him. Give it all. Give it up. Give it all to him. Uh, says, give it some spark. Put some fire on it, you know. Hey, you might have a little flame, but you know you start feeding on that word, and pretty soon that little flame is going to be mm -hmm. a big fire. Mm -hmm. you got to build it up. Stay, mm -hmm. stay built up. If that flame goes out, it's not his fault. Mm. If that flame goes out, it's because we're not feeding. Mm. We're not feeding the, uh, mm. the, the flame. We're, we're not stirring up. Yes. We need to stir it up. We need to stir it up and keep that flame going. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that flame will go out and it's not his fault. It's our fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Give us some spark. Be on fire for him, not Luke Warren. Give us some enthuse. Bible tells us we are to Seek God passionately, love God passionately, serve and obey God passionately, and trust Him passionately. Mm -hmm. Passionately. Amen. Again, people are passionate about everything but God. Mm -hmm. Excuses. I'm not serving Him. I'm not attending church service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not passionate about God. That's mm -hmm. a no-no. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need, we need to make time for Him. Amen. He made time for us. We need to yes. make time for Him. Set your priorities right with Him as you seek Him. Matthew 6, 33 again. No more excuses. God is not seeking perfect people. He's looking for available people. Yeah. We need to know this. Are you available? He wants to know. And He wants to call on you each and every day. Are you available? Make, you, make yourself available. Passion is getting fired up and serving Him and obeying Him. Passion is getting your bump, or your blood pumping, excited and motivated. Man, I do my spiritual exercises all the time. Mm. We need to, we need to do this. Yes, yeah. so physically, I do some of that too. But <laughs> we, we got to exercise our spiritual muscles yeah. too, because we need them. We don't fight flesh and blood. We fight spirit beings. In heavenly places so we need we need to be strong in the word because the word we got we have to speak the word of god get stirred up and do it daily listen in texas we're passionate about a few things we're passionate about uh some sports how about them cowboys <laughs> we're passionate about barbecues we're passionate about uh tacos enchiladas I'm going to make myself hungry. Burritos. We're passionate about rodeos. We're passionate about country music. When we're passionate about Tejano music. Mm. Oh, man. Woo, hallelujah. That's Texas for you. <laughs> we're called to be passionate believers for God. Let's be excited. I can't say it enough. Yeah. He, he yeah. wants you to grab this. You know, be passionate for Him. What are you passionate for? You got to ask yourself that question. You know, yeah. only you can answer that question. God gave his best. Yeah. Jesus gave his best. And he wants us to give our best. Amen. When you hear passionate believer, what comes to mind? Huh. Being excited. Huh. Being excited for God. Can't get enough 
of love. You know, when you first came to Him, you know, you couldn't get enough Bible study. Man, you, <laughs> when you first came to Him, you couldn't get enough Bible study. Man, you couldn't do enough Bible reading. Amen. You couldn't stop coming to church or meeting ourselves, coming together. You couldn't get enough of Jesus. And all that excitement, all of a sudden, it just runs out. <laughs> because we let it run out. Amen. It wasn't His fault. That's it. We let it slow down. And the world's going to see to it. Friends, companies, they're going to see to it that you slow it down. Yeah. And, it, and it will come to a slowdown. We, we, yeah. we, we cannot allow that to happen. That's it. Amen. We must stay excited. Amen. So I, I said a few minutes ago, he paid the price. Uh -huh. He didn't owe. And I owe a price that I cannot pay. That's it. So a passionate believer, listen, he talks it, he shows it, he walks it, and he watches words and his actions. Yes. So you talk it, you show it, you walk it, mm -hmm. and you watch your words and you watch your actions. Amen. Be a passionate believer, I can't say it enough. Get excited about serving him. Yes. The choice, this is it, the choice is yours. Yes, it is. I'm going to do it because I love him, not because I love my company, not because of my brothers and sisters are not doing it or my friends are not doing it, so I'm just going to join them. No, I'm going to do it because I love God. I love Jesus, and I'm going to press on. If they don't like it, they're going to fall by the wayside, and God's going to bring new people around yeah. that are going to help you mm -hmm. and are going to support you yeah. in this Christian walk. Amen. Amen. So those others that are gone, let them go. <laughs> Don't go back for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if they come back for you, just let them know. Hey, if you want to be with me, mm -hmm. then you got to get yourself right with God. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to get yourself right with God. Mm -hmm. Accept Him. You know, you can have. You can have Him. Uh, we're not going to get through with all this, but uh, I just want to mention this. And listen to this. There's a story here. Give a description of four passionate people. And we, we read it before. Mark, uh, second chapter of Mark 1 through 5. New Living Translation says this. Jesus heals a paralyzed man. Verse 1 says, When Jesus returned to Capernaum uh, several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Uh -huh. 2 says, Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no room, no more room, even outside the door. Mm. While he was preaching God's word, four men carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Yeah. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because the crowd. <laughs> so <laughs> it was so crowded, they couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been to concerts. <laughs> I've been to sporting events. I've been to all kinds of events. And it was packed. Didn't stop me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, that was way outside. Still, these men couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. And they didn't settle for just anybody. Mm -hmm. They didn't settle for a disciple. They didn't send brother holy so and so. Mm -hmm. says that, verse 4 says, They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. So they dug a hole through the roof yeah. above the head, above his head. Oh. Now, brother, you're good at this. I don't know. I'm not gifted at uh, using a tape measure. I don't know if they had a tape measure. <laughs> but somehow, somebody measured, okay, from here to here. We need a hole. We, we, we need a hole right here. And they, they, they dug a hole right where Jesus was. Uh -huh. Now, how they figure this out? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they dug a hole right in front of where Jesus was. It says, right above his head. And they lowered the man on his mat right in front of Jesus. They went right in front of Jesus. Hey, I've got a crowd. Hey, man, and I, I, he's got it going on. And these guys all of a sudden interrupt. But you got to be, you got to have peace in here, not to break out and say the wrong things. 
which is not what he said, okay? But it says, he saw their faith. Yes. What do you see of people? Mm -hmm. Are they bugging you? Mm -hmm. They cut you off? What, what, what is it you saw? Remember to see, see him with the love and compassion. When you spend time with him, you've got his love and his compassion wherever you happen to go. Yes. Seeing their faith. He saw their faith mm -hmm. before he says, you're interrupting my meeting. No. <laughs> you know, hey, I was just getting hot. <laughs> They're about ready to say amen. <laughs> <laughs> See in their faith, Jesus no. said to the paralyzed man, my child, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. mm. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and says, stand up, pick up your mat and go home. Mm. Amen. Now he's got to go through all this crowd to get out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the man, listen, the man jumped up, grabbed his mat, and he walked through the stunned onlookers. Mm -hmm. And they were amazed and praised God passionately exclaiming, mm -hmm. we've never seen anything like this mm -hmm. before. And some of us have never seen something like this before <laughs> because we're not walking passionately mm -hmm. and we're not doing it under Him. We're just doing it to please people instead mm -hmm. of pleasing God. Is He seeing your faith? He said He saw their faith first. Before anything else. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it just to mm -hmm. gain recognition. That's it. You don't hear about that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just as four passionate men. This is the kind of people God's going to bring around mm -hmm. to help you. Mm -hmm. Passionate people. Friends that are going to pray for you. That are going to be there to support you. Mm -hmm. And they brought this man. You know, hey. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to carry nobody. <laughs> I need to get myself in there. I want to get inside. I don't want to stand outside. I want to get in. But they saw this man out in the street or wherever, you know. And they, and they, and they, they brought him and say, we know if we can get him to Jesus, mm -hmm. he'll be healed. Mm -hmm. That was their faith. And what yeah. did Jesus say? What did Jesus see? He saw their faith. And he dealt with that. Mm -hmm. He says, stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. Mm -hmm. And the man jumped up, man, he would, if I'm crippled and I can't walk, yeah. <laughs> and he tells me to get up, mm -hmm. it took faith for him to do that. He could have said, but I can't walk. Mm -hmm. How do you he want me to do this? Yeah. He had faith enough to say, hey, yes, I believe he what you're saying. And he jumped, he says he jumped up. Mm -hmm. He just didn't get up. He said he jumped up, grabbed his mat, and he walked mm -hmm. out through all these stunned on <laughs> they were stunned. They said, wow, mm -hmm. we never seen anything like this before. And you know what? Jesus is still doing things like this. Mm -hmm. And he wants to do it using you. Yes. He says, you lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Yes. And that's my faith. I have faith in what the word says. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be closing there. It says, for four passionate believers and their mission... To get the paralyzed man to Jesus, mm -hmm. these men knew Jesus could help. Their yes. mission is to get get their friend to yes. Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can be like these four passionate men mm -hmm. daily. Wouldn't settle for a note from Jesus. No. <laughs> Wouldn't settle for Jesus sending his disciples to no. come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They wanted Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we can be like these four men on a daily basis as we go out. Have passion when you spend spend time with him, fill yourself with him yes. before you go into the work because the world will have you lunch in the heartbeat. Oh, yeah, yeah. and then oh, so yes. spend time with him before you go mm -hmm. or as you go uh, driving to work, mm -hmm. what, what, whatever. But spend time with him before you deal with the world yeah. because them giants, them Goliaths are waiting on you. Oh, yeah, regardless, our Goliaths are different, mm -hmm. whatever Goliath is coming against you, mm -hmm. amen. But greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. Amen. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Some of you, God wants to use you and you've been running from him too long now. Amen. So it's time to settle down and say, hey, I could, be, I could do better at Father's house. Amen. He knows you best. So why not go to him? Amen. He can straighten this thing out in a heartbeat. But kind of deal with it yourself. Amen. 
So all you need to do is say, Lord, I sin against you. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will. Amen. All we need to do is uh, get in a Bible-based church where we yeah. can learn the Word, get in the Bible, and fill yourself with the Word, and start yeah. confessing the Word, and step out in faith. And step out in faith as God uses you. Yes. Amen. So don't disqualify yourself. He's already qualified you. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, by His stripes we're healed. So I'm standing on His Word. Thank you, Lord, that I'm healed. You're healed, brother. By His stripes you are healed from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. He knows us best. Anything malfunctioning in this body, we call you functional. Because He says it's going to work the way He created it to function. Mm -hmm. So body line up with the Word of God. I receive my healing in my body right now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And it's time to give. If you're giving, just go to our website. It should be on the screen there. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. So praise God. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.